Good morning, class. Uh, we thank God for aiding us to come together again and to bring another great, great Sunday school lesson. Amen. And our lesson today is Lesson 8, July 26, 2020, uh, Unit 2, um, Wisdom in the Gospel. And the subject is Finding One's Way. Amen. We'd like to ask all those uh, of, the, of our church family to pray for Sister Evelyn uh, and uh, her father uh, passed away. Amen. We ask you to to lift her up in prayer that the Lord comfort her. Amen. And this is a good lesson uh, uh, in dealing with uh, when we're going through different troubles and things in our lives. We can always read this 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 uh, the 14th chapter of uh, uh, of John, Amen, because it's it's fits uh, uh, a lot of situations that we have to deal with. So we thank God for the Word, Amen, and the Comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, Amen. Uh, uh, let us pray, Father in heaven. We come to you in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for all your many blessings and all the things you've done for us, Lord. We ask you to have mercy on us, Lord, strengthen us, Lord. It's time of trouble. You said these things was going to come, and amen. And we ask you, Lord, just to keep us and keep us strong. Lord, let us let us uh, still in this time, Lord, be able to do your will and to do the things that are pleasing in your sight, Lord. And we ask you to bless upon our whole church body, Lord, and especially Sister Evelyn and all those that have... Uh, Lost loved ones recently, Lord. We just uh, comfort them and keep them uh, strong, Lord. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. I'd like to say giving out to God to our pastor and wife and our ministers and deacons and trustees and all our church body. And I'd like to say good morning to also our superintendent, Brother Nehemiah. Amen. Thank God for him. We praise the Lord. Uh, for his family also, amen. Now, let's go into the lesson, amen. Uh, this is a very, very, very good lesson. Say, finding one's way. I don't know if y'all, if any of you have ever used a GPS, uh, you know, on your phone, or maybe you might have, like I have a little gadget that if you want to find certain streets and you can just punch in what where you're going and it will direct you to those uh, places, amen. But we find that even with that, uh, sometimes they send, it'll send you in the wrong direction. And 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 on the one that I have, uh, you push a button. If you don't like the, the direction that it is taking you, you can push uh, a button. And it, it'll uh, change your route in what direction, way you're going. Amen. It may be three, maybe or more on so many different routes you can take. Amen. But uh, most of the time, it gives you the first route it give you is the shortest route to that destination. So, but. Uh, we find on those things there is many, many different uh, ways to get to certain places. But we find out in order to get to heaven, there's only one way. And that's through Jesus Christ. Amen. Jesus is the way and he's the truth and the life. As we're going to find out in our lesson today. Um, there's only one way to, G to God and to heaven is through Jesus Christ. There's no other way. And you hear them talking on a lot of the shows, and they say, they say that you know there are more ways to Christ, and you seek your own way, and whatever way feels good to you, then you take that direction. But, but the Word of God does not say that. It says Jesus is the way. Unless you come through by Jesus, Amen. You won't make it, Amen. Let's let's go into the first part of our lesson. Uh, John fourteen and one says. Don't be troubled. Let not your heart be troubled. Ye believe in God, believe also in men. And we see so much going on today, and we it's hard 
sometimes when you listen to the news and you hear, you see what's going on and, and you out and about and you uh, see how people are driving and how people are, are behaving and, and uh, it's, it, it's, sometimes it's difficult to, 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 uh, uh, to see those things, amen, and, and to hear and, and, and watching the news and see how, what's going on in, in the world, amen. But the Lord tells us, let not our hearts be troubled. We have a better place to go to. Uh, this is just a temporary home for us. Amen. If we believe in the Lord, we don't have to, we don't have to uh, be troubled by these things that are going on. You know, uh, uh, we're concerned. A lot of times we're concerned about it, but we just can't let it uh, overwhelm us to the point we can't do what God wants us to do. Amen. It say in my father's house or what many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you, and there is a better place for us. Amen. And um, that place is heaven. The Lord has has a place uh, prepared for all the saints of God, and we're gonna be with Him one day. One day, uh, Christ is gonna return. And the dead in Christ is going to rise, and those who remain are, are going to be caught up and meet Him in, uh, um, meet Him in the air. Amen. Um, let's see. Let's go. Uh, let's see. John the the the, the uh, fifth chapter, Saint John the fifth chapter and 28 verse says. It says, marvel not at this, for the hour is coming, in the which all that are in the grave shall hear his voice. So that's comfort. And shall come forth they that have done good unto the resurrection of life, and they that have done evil unto the resurrection uh, um, of damnation. And then uh, let's go to the sixth chapter. Amen. And the 38th verse, let's start, let's see it, 38 verse of the 6th chapter of St. John said, uh, For I come down from heaven, not to do my own will, but the will of him that sent me. And this is uh, the Father's will which has sent me, that of all which he has given me, I should lose nothing. But she what? Raise it up again at the last day. And then the Lord is telling us right there. He said he go to prepare a place and say, I come again and receive you unto myself that that where I am, there ye may be also. So this is what it's saying in, in, in the, uh, the sixth chapter. Amen. The 39th verse says, he said, I raise it up again. One day we'll be raised up again. Uh, amen. We won't stay in the grave. The Lord will uh, 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 come and receive us unto himself. Amen. Let's, let's read the 40 verse also. And this is the will of him that sent me, that everyone uh, which sees the Son and believeth on him may have everlasting life. You hear that? Everlasting life. It says, which the Son of Man shall give unto you for him had, uh, I'm sorry, everlasting life, and I will raise him up at the last day. Amen. And that's comfort. The Lord said he will raise us up at the last day, and we'll be where he is. Amen. And and the and, and you got to understand the disciples were troubled at that time, and Jesus was telling them things, you know, that he was going to depart from them, and and uh and he he was gonna uh, uh, die and give up his life, amen. And this was troubling to them, amen. You imagine you've been around someone for for a good all that you know good, uh, time, and you your relationship is very very close, and then they tell you, say, I'm leaving, I'm I'm, I'm about to leave, and so it troubled them, amen. So they didn't understand everything; they understood some things. Some things were revealed to them after Jesus had risen from the grave, and they understood. But we know that uh, Jesus had yet to give them comforting words. He said, And whether I go, ye know, 
in the way he know. A lot of times we don't feel, we might feel like this. And I I don't know the way. I don't know how how to how to uh, 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 to get to Christ. But Jesus is the way. In the Word, when we read the Word of God, we see that the Word tell us that Jesus is the way. Amen. Let's go to the uh, fifth verse. It says Thomas says unto him, Lord, we know not whether thou goest. And how can we know the way? Jesus said unto him, I am the way. Jesus was the way. And he's what? The truth. And he is the what? The life. So Jesus is the way. So if we follow Christ, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll uh, be saved. Amen. Jesus will never lie to us. Everything he tells us is the truth. Amen. And the life, the life is in him. If we want to live forever and be with Christ, we have to follow him. Amen. We have to do the things that are pleasing to him. So he is the way, he is the truth, and he's the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. So you can't, get, there is no other ways, you know. You, you must come in at the door. You must come in. You must go through Jesus Christ. You just can't make up your own religion. You can't make up your own, uh, uh, you know, way that you want to come to Christ. We have to fought, keep God's commandments. Whatever God tells us to do, that's what we have to do. Amen. If ye had known me, ye should have known my Father also. And there is the the the, the connection between God. The Father and, and and Jesus and the Holy Ghost, there is no variance in them. They're all the same. If, if one is no different from the other. Amen. Because they all work together. All these things work together. Amen. The Lord Jesus said, He said, I'm gonna send you back a comforter that will keep you. Amen. That will that will live inside of you when you're going through different things. The comforter, uh, which is the Holy Ghost will help us to get through those things and give us bring back to remembrance the scriptures that we read and, and and like what we're reading today this is comforting scriptures amen listen it says jesus said to him i uh the uh, uh, seventh verse says if ye had known me ye should have known my father also and from henceforth know know him and have seen him Philip said unto him, Lord, show us the Father, and it suffices us. And you imagine, even those uh, those men that were with Jesus, they still they were still learning. They were still, um, uh, you know, tr trying to get understanding. You know, uh, a lot of times we think we know everything, but we really don't. And there's a learning process in in in, in the. In, in in the word of God and in, in 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 the scripture, you never stop learning. Don't ever think you know everything. Amen. But we can always ask God, say, God, you know, we can ask the Lord and He'll reveal these things to you. If we need to know something, if something we need to know and the understanding we need, we can ask God and He will He will give us understanding, He will give us wisdom. Amen. Now Let's look at this. Uh, first chapter of St. John says this. Says, and listen what listen what um, what Thomas said. Uh, G, um, I mean Philip said. Uh, uh, if if you had known me, uh, you should have known the Father. I was, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, let's go. Uh, Thomas said. Uh, that says unto him, Lord, we know not whither thou goest, and how can we know the way? Now, let's go to John, the first chapter, and listen what it says, and this is very important. It says, in the beginning was the Word, and listen, and the Word was with God, and the Word was, was what? Was God. The word was God. Amen. It's, it explains it right there. And then it's, listen what it says. All things were made by him. And without him was not anything made that was made. In him was what? Life. 
You know, we know that the Lord breathed into Adam's nostril and, and man became a living soul. Amen. And him was life and the life was the light of men. And that's our light. That's our hope. Amen. That we have. If 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 I didn't have Christ in my life, amen, I would I would just give up. Amen. I would just I wouldn't care. Because there's nothing else that provides life, true life. Amen. Not stuff, not things. Amen. It's only in the word of God through Christ Jesus. Amen. So, in, in the beginning was the Word. So the Word, you know, Jesus Christ, and the Word was with God, amen, and the Word was God. So there, we can't separate them, even though uh, in the Bible we, we look at it as three individuals, but there's no separation in them. What the way Jesus thought was the way God thought with it. Holy Ghost thoughts were was what Jesus thought, what what Jesus thought was what God thought, what the Holy Ghost thought was what God thought. So all of them work together. Amen. And it they work together for the good of them that was in Christ Jesus. Jesus said unto him, Amen. This is the ninth verse. Uh says unto him, Have I been so long with you? And yet has thou not known me, Philip? Ain't that something? You've been around God. You 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 say, well, you know, uh, show show us the Father. We we need to see the Father. But the Father was with them all the time in the form of Jesus Christ, God in the flesh. Amen. So he that has seen me has seen the Father. Amen. So uh, we we don't uh, see God with our natural eyes, but we see him in our spiritual mind we see him in the word of god amen god let us know who he is and what is his purpose what our purpose is and uh know everything through his word amen so he that has seen me has seen the father and how says thou show us the father amen so he say believe thou not that i am in the father and the father in me uh, the words that's, uh, that that uh, the words that speak unto you, I speak not of myself, but what of the Father that dwelleth in me. He doeth the work. So God was working in him. We have no pictures of of, of Jesus. There is no portrait of of Jesus. People draw, you know, they draw pictures and stuff, but those are not those are not. That is not the way Jesus looked, uh, and it's it's good that we don't because if we did, we'll be worshiping those pictures. We won't have God. Um, the Lord wants us to know Him uh, from the inside. Amen. We believe. We have faith. Amen. We don't need a, a picture, but we need God on the inside manifest Himself to us. Amen. So He dwelling. In the Father, and the Father dwelleth in Him, Amen. Then the Father and the Son and the Holy Ghost, all of them will dwell in us, Amen. He will make His abode in us. He'll live inside of us, Amen. So we don't have to say, "Where is God? Who? Where is God?" All you have to do is look on the inside. You see, it says in eleven verse, "Say, believe, believe me that I am in the Father, and the Father in me, or else believe." me uh for the uh very work's sake so we see the miracles done all the things that the lord do in our lives and all 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 that he blesses us with and when we ask the lord in prayer and he answer our prayer we see the lord we know just through the works all the things we didn't came our situation we came out of and how the lord blessed us amen we see him through those things we know that the lord is real because no man could do these things unless the Lord, it has to be God to do it. Amen. When people have uh, been told that they were going to die and the doctors have given them up and then they live on and on and on for years and years and years. Amen. No matter what the doctor said. But that's God. That's, 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 that's the Lord working right there. They say, Verily I say unto you, he that believeth on me, the works that I do 
shall uh, he do also. And greater works than these shall he do. Because I go unto the Father and the Lord. He didn't just leave it. Uh, leave us uh, where there is uh, nothing for us to do. The Lord said, you're going to be just like me. You're going to do, do works just like me. And you're going to do even greater works. And you know, that's a blessing for someone to uh, so great that we want to share his, his uh, power with us. To share it with man, uh, man just to share his power with us. But the Lord said, I'm going to share it with you. You'll be able to do the same things I did, I did, I've done, and you'll be able to do greater things. Amen. So it's not just given to one individual to do these things. But the Lord took, put those gifts into many people. He said greater works, and when he said greater works, it, you know, you might uh, have uh, two gifts, you might have one gift, you might have ten gifts. But the Lord, he spread it out among the, among the body. So when you put that whole body together, you'll see these are great, greater works. These are more, Jesus had to do, uh, 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 be the example, he had to be the one example. But now we got thousands and millions of people today that's doing the work of the Lord. And it's greater because there's so much being done in the name of Jesus right now. Amen. So greater works we are doing. Amen. Right now. Amen. And, and whatsoever you shall ask in my name, that, uh, that will I do. And the Father, uh, Father may be. Glorified in the Son. That means that uh, um, we'll be glorified the Lord. Whatever work we do for the Lord and whatever is done in His name, we give God the glory. We give, we say, uh, in, in the name of Jesus, we do these things. So the Son is glorified, then God is glorified because these are the ones that uh, Jesus, uh, God uh, set Jesus over. And we, he, he is the one, he's the overseer of the church, the chief overseer. So uh, uh, it, it, it makes him feel uh, 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 great to, just to know that his children are doing his will. Amen. And say, if ye shall ask anything in my name, I will do it according to his will. And that's important. If it's in his will, the Lord, we ask the Lord uh, for anything, anything, whatever uh, uh, that we ask. Guess what? The Lord will do it. Amen. And and uh, let's go to Rebel, uh, 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 Genesis. Amen. I'm going to read some of the Genesis. And I want you to follow along with me. And this is what the Lord showed me. Uh, God is in everything. God is the one that, that made everything. God is the one that is in control of everything. If we look at all this chaos going on now... He spoke it and he said these things was going to be. Amen. So he told us, say, now you don't got, you don't have to be troubled. You don't have to be troubled because you, I already told you what was going to happen. The Lord already told us what, what was going to happen. If the Lord spoke it, guess what? It's going to come to pass. And now listen, let's go to the first chapter of Genesis. And I'm going I'm to go verse by verse. And listen, listen what it says. And say in verse 1 it said, God created. Amen. And verse 2 it says, God moved. Verse 3 it says, God said. 4, God saw. God divided. 5th, God called. 6, God said. 7th, God made. 8, God called. Nine, God said. Ten, God called. Eleven, God said. Amen. And then um, twelve, God saw. Fourteen, God said. Fifteen, amen. Uh, let's go. Sixteen, God made. Seventeen, God set. Eighteen, God saw. Twenty, God said. 21st, God created. Amen. Uh, 22, God blessed. Ain't that something? Listen to this. Uh, 24th, God said. 25th, God made. 25th, God saw. 
26, God said. Uh, 27, God created. 28, God blessed. 29, God said. 30, <laughs> amen. Amen. Uh, 31st, God saw. Amen. Second chapter. Listen to this. Amen. Second verse. Uh, God ended. Third verse, God blessed. Third verse, God created. Uh, fourth verse, God made. Amen. Uh, fifth verse, uh, God had. Sixth verse, seventh verse, God formed. Eighth verse, God planted. Ninth verse, God grew. Amen. Uh, let's go. Let's see. Uh, okay, uh, let's go. Now skip down to the 16th verse. God commanded. <laughs> Amen. Uh, let's see. 19th verse. God formed. Amen. 21st verse. God calls. Amen. 22nd verse. God had. <laughs> Amen. Let's go. Amen. Uh, let's go to the third chapter. Amen. God made. Amen. Second verse. Third verse. God has. Amen. The fifth verse. God does. Amen. Six, sixth verse. Amen. Seven, seventh verse. Amen. Eighth verse. God walking. Amen. Eighth verse. God among. Amen. Ninth verse. God called. Amen. Uh, let's see. Thirteenth verse. God said. Amen. God said in the fourteenth verse. Amen. Let's keep. Let me keep it going. Let me keep it going. I'm just showing you everything God spoke. Amen. He put it into action. Amen. Twenty uh, uh, first verse. It say God made. Amen. The twenty second verse says God said. Amen. The twenty third verse says God sent. Amen. And we know that in the end, God sent His only begotten Son, uh, that uh, that we all may. Uh, uh, attain eternal life. Amen. God sent. And that was the last thing he did was he sent. Amen. So God is doing when he left and, 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 and was crucified he rose from the dead and what did he do? He sent his disciples. He told them, say, go ye therefore uh, uh, and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. Amen. So he sent us. Amen. Now Adam and Eve were sent for sent out of the garden for for the for the wrong reason, but we're sent back. Amen. The Lord has sent us into the world today so we can preach the gospel. Amen. So we should not be troubled. Don't worry. Amen. Because the Lord is always with us. Amen. So keep praying. Keep praying and asking the Lord for 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 understanding of the word. Amen. Now, next week lesson is going to be lesson nine, August second, twenty twenty. Unit three: Faith and wisdom in James. In in uh in James, and the subject: Ask for it. Sounds like another good one. Amen. And keep praying for me and pray for our families and pray for all the churches and all the saints throughout the world. Pray for this nation and pray that we all grow stronger. Amen. Um. We pray for an answer, but, you know, we have to wait on the Lord for the answer. I don't know if the Lord is telling us anything right now. And we cannot force the hand of God. I, I don't want to force the hand of God. Amen. And uh, His will must be done. Uh, I know the uh, children of Israel were in captivity for 40 years. I mean, 70 years. So, uh, I'm sure they wanted to come out of that captivity as fast as they possibly could. But the Lord had set a time and that time was set and they didn't come out until that time uh, that the Lord had set. So even now we have to go, we have to do um, 
go with what God has set. It's in His time that these things uh, uh, go away, or they might not. They may not even go away. But uh, this is the uh, beginning of sorrow. This is, these are things that are going to come upon the earth, and this just just one thing. So we ask everyone to continue to trust in the Lord and believe that God it will deliver. Amen. That's one of Evelyn's uh, favorite song. God will deliver on time. Amen. And in his time. And I thank you all for your listening here today. And be blessed in the name of Jesus.